Well, everyone, it's Tuesday, May 28, 2024. I'm Doug. It is time once again to play Connections. Let's see what we've got today. Uh, today we have Waxy, Solid, Evil, Genius, Vile, Flexible, Lit, Wicked, Easy, Beginner, Open, Live, Amazing, Scented, Veil, and Receptive. Uh, okay, so evil, wicked, vile, and what goes with that? Don't know. Don't see anything that represents uh, bad here. Um, all right, we'll hold off on that. Hmm. <clears throat> Beginner, easy, uh... Don't see good synonyms for simplicity. So we'll pass on that. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, a candle could be lit. It could be waxy. It could be scented. Uh but I don't have a fourth there. Another one, it's like, mm, nope. Uh, someone could be receptive, flexible, open, open, receptive, flexible, um, perhaps easy. Uh, not difficult to deal with. Amenable. Okay, yep. No, that's synonymous. You got the yellow there. All right. Hmm. Okay. Um. Genius. Amazing. Uh, solid and lit would be uh, positive terms. Um, terms of affirmation, terms of uh, um, ways to describe something that's exceptional. One away. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Amazing, solid, genius. Lit is probably not the one that wants to go with that. Hmm. Don't know what I do with that. Okay, another one where the, again there's three and I can't find a fourth. All right. Hmm. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> four different words that use the same four letters. Anagrams. Yep. <laughs> also known as anagrams. All right, there we go. <laughs> That's interesting. All right. Um, wicked, amazing, lit, solid would also be terms of uh, appreciation or uh, ways to celebrate something or express... Uh, Ex affirmative declarations. No, and not even one away. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um, uh, well, I still can't help but feel like there's something to do with candles, scented candle, waxy candle. But we've been down this road. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, amazing race. No. Nope. Looking, obviously, at uh, possible phrases here. Um... Genius, um, 
genius bar uh pure genius hmm the waxy thing i'm just not sure what to do with waxy i don't feel like i see oh wicked starts with a wick waxy starts with wax oh is this going to be something scented goes with scent all part of a candle but what would be what would be something else that starts with something that's related to a candle hmm see that's the problem i don't see anything that works there like wick scent wax parts of like things related to a candle uh beginner like i feel like amazing genius solid and lit could be again affirmative declaration could is uh, b is b part of a candle beg begin hmm i just with the heck of it uh words that start with something to do with a candle no one away Oh, goodness. Another one of these, like, hmm. Lit? <laughs> Could it just be lit? Is that it? Is like words that start with something to do with a candle? Adjectives for a candle. Oh, yeah. A scented candle, a lit candle, a waxy, a wicked candle. All right. So I, I best maybe I get a half point because the candle theme... But I was trying to do some weird wordplay that didn't fit properly. So I think it maybe at best I, I could qualify for a half point there. And then here we go. Amazing, beginner, genius, and solid. Uh, different levels, skill levels. Are these skill levels? Spelling bee ranks. <laughs> uh, okay. Spelling bee ranks. That's interesting. I admit, I'm of an age where it's been a few decades since I've been in my last spelling bee, so I'm not familiar with the official ranking system on that. I'm not complaining. Your number one rule of Connections YouTubers, you don't complain. I'm just saying uh, I don't think I could get that because it's been about mm, four something years since I've... <laughs> I've been in a spelling bee. So I'll let that one go. I think I'm I think I'm at two and a half points. Let me know if you like the cut of my jib and you just want to give me a little extra something. I appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow for some more connections.